Hello everybody, it's Glenda with aka GK Fraylin, a friendly community, and you're very welcome. Da -da -da -da. Isn't that cute? I love the colors. Ah. Oh. I just put it on with a pair of my black leggings. <laughs> so much for modeling. Never my career. I've always been too short. Anyway. Whew. Trying to get all set up here. Okay. It is bitter cold today. I just finished my treatment, so yeah, I got the shakes. I took my meds, but... I didn't give them enough time to take it hold, so they will. Anyway, pray, pray people get over the road to get home today. Especially like my Joe and my kids. I don't know. It was about three degrees this morning. And I think the high is supposed to be nine. And it's supposed to be a bit of a wind chill. I don't know what the roads are like. Uh, 1011 was talking like there might be some spots, but excuse me, hiccup. But I don't know down here because Lincoln has a tendency to be windier than we are. Why, I don't know, but I've always noticed that when we go to Lincoln, it's windier. But, uh, I mean, we get we're, we get winds. We get a lot of winds, but you know, Joe, ha if he's going to be froze, and he told me the other day. Well, he went out and scooped snow, and I've always got him leather fleece-lined leather gloves to keep his hands warm. And a few years ago, he frost bit the fingers of his hand just just in their quick freezer over there he was carrying it was I think a thing of ice cream by its rim and it was like a big heavy tub and evidently the cold of that mixed with all the other and the pressure on his fingers anyway and uh, he had to go to, up to Lincoln Heart Hospital and they put electrodes on his fingers. I kept, you know, because he kept saying he couldn't feel anything. And I, you know, blanched his fingers and and they blanched good. And I asked, the, which is, you just, you press on it and see how long it takes the color to come back. And if the color comes back quickie, quick, quickly, that means you do have capillary refill. And the doctor said, well, that's the same test he would have done, you know, the regular doctor. The, they sent him to Lincoln Heart because he just, there was some things that just weren't getting any better. And he wasn't getting to the very tip of his fingers. He wasn't getting um, good circulation. So they put him on a medication and eventually it's, but he said it's always given him problems and they just hurt. It was right about there that my camera, both the battery went dead and the memory card got full at the same time. So I kind of left it where it was there because I'd said pretty much anything I needed to say. I decided to give you, <laughs> give you guys the right side up view and I'm going to try it this way. It's lines and squiggles so I don't think it should make a big difference.
Turn it towards me now. I'm not so disappointed. I'm really not too disappointed. I don't know why it didn't get recorded, but I... You saw enough of the dog for <laughs> time anyway. But one thing I had mentioned or was talking about was how it isn't the dog doesn't have the same as on one side as the other. It's not really what you call symmetrical. It's artistic. It's not symmetrical. And in life, we want everything to be symmetrical. We will look at something like that and we'll want it to be the same on each side. And they say that really attractive people, they're, they're, both sides of their face are pretty much, and that's why Lyle, Lyle Lovett isn't really attractive to other people on, you know, in the general public or whatever, because he's got kind of that offset jaw. But life isn't symmetrical, is it? Life is never really symmetrical. And so we need to kind of change our way of thinking a little bit. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not, you know, some fairly symmetrical. I'm just saying in life, we tend to expect everything to be as we want it. And if it isn't, then we consider it not so good. That's dogs can be absolutely beautiful once I get it done. Anyway, I wasn't unhappy with it because the part that I was doing, the, what I was going for was for it to look variegated. The colors to look kind of variegated. And I think they did, so anyway, <laughs> it was an experience. We have less than a week until New Year. Can you believe it? <laughs> we have less than a week until New Year's. So I don't really I don't really do New Year's resolutions. I don't know that I should really even ask for them. There's like things that maybe I'd like to get done in the next year, but as far as setting it like a New Year's resolution to lose you know, 50 pounds or whatever, that to me is like self-beating. You know, it's like beating yourself up because it's hard to, when you set it that it's like setting a goal too far ahead or too far fetched and instead of setting it in like increments that will eventually get you there. But, you know, I'd rather just say, well, in the next year I'd like to have accomplished. So maybe we'll just keep that in your mind and we'll come up with that later on towards, you know, into the new year. Um, maybe some things you'd like to accomplish within the next year um, or however you want to do that anyway so we'll talk about it more later still bitter cold Joe got home safe the roads were fine um, but he went out and he's making sure that he can get everything started because this kind of cold can cause batteries to go dead just like that so and I don't I don't know if we we don't have battery heaters anymore, I don't think. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, tomorrow is another day. You know what's coming. <laughs> yes, tomorrow is another day. And I plan on being in it. And so I'm going to try and insert myself into your life again. <laughs> If you want, if you want me there, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And give me a thumbs up. Share this darn thing. <laughs> or at least tell your friends about it. <laughs> I can't make you do a thing, but I can ask. So, uh, hasta mañana. Love you.